Good morning, friends. It's Alexor again. I bring you the righteous fire into last epoch where you just stand there and everything dies. It's literally a walking simulator, and that's what it does. As you can tell, we just run through people and they die due to our consecration aura because we are so holy. Um, it's pretty much just a free skill setup to get it going, and then you just run around as long as you have this aura around you. I wish it would be a little bit better visible, but it's good enough. This is 100 corruption, so um, just empowered. Um, this is obviously very easy to do, as you can tell, but I know this build can go to 200 easily, even 300. I've seen people do it. Um, so uh, I just didn't have the time to, to get to that yet with the Sentinel. But it's absolutely possible, and if you have bosses, you just stand next to them, right, like this. Because you're also being healed while this is happening. So this is really the lazy man's build. And yeah, there we go. <laughs> you really just stand next to people. You can't die really much to... You can't obviously die to, to strong blows right away. If they deal more than your 2k health, for example. But um, poison or like any sort of damage over time... It doesn't really hurt you. So it's just a very, very strong build. Um, the basis is from Max Roll, their uh, Judgment Aura build, but I changed a bunch of things, so I guess it's my build now, or whatever. I play different things, but whatever. Um, so yeah, let's look over the items first. So you don't really need uniques. That's the great thing about this build. It's actually very cheap. You don't really need these. You can just run regular shields for that. But I just went with these. What you want to do is, you actually want to have as much mana as possible, because mana is your damage. It sounds weird, I know, but we go over this when we go into the skills. The more mana you have, because when you cast Judgment, all your mana is spent, 100% of it, everything. That's why I do Voltar Reversal, so you get it straight back, basically, if I do Judgment. And then you have nothing, then do Voltar Reversal, I'm back, right? And this costs the aura. And the aura gains more damage, the more mana you have, so you want to have more. This is not even... This build is not even maximized and it's already shredding. So, if you have good items, you can absolutely destroy everything. So, what you want to look for always, as you can tell, is either elemental damage over time, because the Consecrated Aura does fire damage, or mana, like straight, just flat mana and increased mana. That's what you want. This one also has fire penetration, which is great. So what you want, it has three of the affixes I wanted, which is elemental damage over time. Heal 7 would be nice, that's like 300% if you can get that, congratulations. Mana and mana regen, so hybrid mana, very great. Straight mana would have been better here, because we don't need the mana regen. If you have a tier 5, just mana, that's better. Um, Fire pen, tier 5, pretty nice. And shield on hit was just a nice addition. Um, if you don't have this, just go with any, let's just go with ignite, for example. Then we have our body armor, mana, mana, health, resistances. So you really only want to focus on mana, mana, and health. That's what you want, right? It's very simple actually to, to, to gear this one. Um, this was always insane drop, free exalted affixes, but it has elemental damage over time. That's what I wanted mostly, and health. Pretty great. Again here, elemental damage over time, endurance health region. Element, uh, damage over time, elemental damage over time, endurance health, again. For the boots, you want to look for the haste after use traversal skill. It's not necessary, but it's kind of a nice addition because we are pretty slow and we only have our shield rush to actually as a sort of movement skill. So if you want to go through the echoes faster, then if you have this, that's great because it gives you the haste after you used the, the shield. It also has strength, which is nice, and health regen. I wish it had other affixes on it, and I'm of course going to give you a build guide below in the description that has everything perfect. Um, but this is sort of what I got right now, right? Here you want to have plus 4 to Judgment, okay? I don't have it yet, sadly I didn't find it, but you want to have more points in Judgment, you really need it. Um, it would be very helpful if I had it, we have 3 in Javelin, it's fine. But if you get 3 or 4 in Judgment, then this build really, really comes alive. Really strongly. Uh, I've been there yet. These ones, the Hand of Judgment. The main thing for this really is Attunement, because Attunement gives us more um, mana, straight mana. Cooldown Recovery Speed for Judgment, very useful. 
and of course the fire penetration right um everything else doesn't work because we are armed so it would only work if we were unarmed but it's still a nice addition you don't need it again if you find if you just have gloves with a human or fire pen on them that's enough right um you, you don't really need the cooldown recovery speed for judgment so maybe it's actually better to not run these i was having fun with these so far but i might just actually throw these out for regular exalted gloves with for example uh, a human, a fire pen, and mana sort of exalted. It might be better than this. We'll see. But they also have 40% void resistance, which is kind of nice. And then for this, the Orient's ID amulet. You really only have this for the mana. This is not even a, a great roll. 99 mana. If you have the 150, even better. You don't need anything else. Less fire damage taken, I guess. That's cool. Uh, less damage over time taken. But you really only want the mana, okay? Straight mana is what we need, because that's our damage. And then I went with the Flayer Sprite here. It doesn't really matter. You don't even need this. Again, as I said, you don't need these uniques. And actually, in the in the build guide, I made one without any unique, okay? So I was just running this here. Mm, again, I like this as the, sh the shield of choice because it has a chance to bleed on hit. If you have the Raya's, the Raya's shield, the fire shield, I don't know what it's called. It's also great because there's Ignite Chance, I believe, and Fire Damage. Because we do damage over time, so a Chance to Bleed is a nice addition, and we take less damage and all that with Block. It's cool, it's not necessary, but it is cool. Um, again, a regular shield might just do fine. For the Idols, we need all Healing Effectiveness, right? We don't care about the second one too much, but Healing Effectiveness is what you want in all of these, okay? You need Fear with Healing Effectiveness. Um, so, so we get our health up fast. Healing effectiveness, healing effectiveness, healing effectiveness, blah blah blah. You know, you get it. Uh, because we do heal with the with the holy aura, for example, and the judgment also obviously heals us. So we are tankier the more healing effectiveness we have. I actually forgot the helmet. My bad. But it's the same thing again. Mana. And for the blessings, yeah, same thing as always. Really, this is actually wrong. I just realized. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this. Um, Endurance and resistances. You want to have all the resistances kept. Poison is not quite kept, so I'm going to look into this. But this is what I do with blessings always. Uh, capping resistances. So not, nothing crazy really about that. Let's look at the skills. Judgment. That's all main skill. So the first thing you want to have is this over here. Anointed. Consecrated ground becomes a consecrating aura. This is what you want. So the aura is around you all the time. We also want to max this so it lasts longer. You want this to last as long as possible. And then you want to go straight for Paius, Paius Offering. Current mana consumed 100% and more damage per 2 mana 1%. So basically, we have 600 mana, right? So this does 300% 300 more, dam 300 more damage when we consume the mana. That is kind of crazy. Uh, again, the more mana you have, the more damage. And down here we also um, maximize the damage on the consecrated ground so if we had more points in the judgment that would be nice we could get this up to four we could even get this one hit damage against high health and consecrated against high health so these two we would want to have if we has have plus four on the judgment it's very simple just eats all our mana does aura damage holy aura is again just a nice addition we go over here for health uh increased effectiveness healing effectiveness and extra health Resistances up, ward, um, rather health gain on block and block effectiveness and a little bit of ignite chance. The holy aura is just always a nice sort of addition, giving us um, fire resistance shred, resistances and healing. Right? But it's still it's just sort of a staple in in the paladin. Javelin, as you saw, it's not really a damage dealer for us. It's mostly just to set up things, especially down here, sacred forge. Directly using Javelin and hitting an enemy causes your next Judgment to deal more damage. In this case, 60% more damage. So you wanna, again, throw your Javelin first, right, like this, hit an enemy with it, cast your Judgment, then do the Volatile Reversal, and then you can also do the Shield Throw and run through people. And it also does more damage at the end, or Shield Rush it is, rather. And then it does more damage at the end. Pretty nice. So that's how this works. The Javelin is not really a damage dealer, it is to set up our Judgment. And we, get, we gain also um, Armor Shred, which is nice on the enemies. Attack speed, yeah, fine. And damage over time buff. And of course here, 
It leaves the holy trail. That's the fire thing you see there. The holy trail, which does fire damage. And up here, we also increase the fire damage and the lightning damage and additional spell damage based on your increased healing effectiveness. So it does damage. It's not the main damage dealer, but it doesn't hurt that it also does damage. Volatile Reversal is pretty much the same as always. I feel like what you really just want to have is... Where is it? Um, yeah, cooldown recovered. You want to have this available as fast as possible. So you want to max this one first. And this. So these two are your, your first two ones. Then... Um, yeah, you go down here. Enemies hit by Volatile Reversal. The Void Rift. Take increased damage. It's pretty nice. And it's just you do a void rift at the end in the beginning, that's fine. Also, oh, yeah, movement speed after casting. This is also great. Uh, short cooldown, you have to reduce health, that's fine. And uh, deal more damage. So, this one is also very important cooldown recovery. You want to look at all the cooldown recovery speeds because you want to have this active as fast as possible. So, you can cast it when your aura is off again. And the shield rush, very simple. You want to get. Less mana. It's really just a movement skill mostly. We don't really care about the damage, but it's really what you can go into at all. So you go into less mana, less damage taken while rushing, this more damage, final hit damage and damage. This is all unnecessary. We want to have the mana mostly and less damage taken. Again, it's mostly just our traversal skill. We could force a gun with lunge, but this goes further and you can also use it without hitting enemies. You can try lunge if you want. But there's not really a, a great use for it, I feel like. Um, shield, the Shield Rush felt better. About the passives. Um, Paladin is pretty much the same as always. Yeah, it's the same. I guess, except we do we do this, obviously, the Valiant Charge. Um, cool on recovery speed for movement skills. Yeah, that's the one we changed. Because you want to have your voluntary reversal back fast. We put 10 voids in the Void Knight, we gotta do this, so we get our reversal, but um, yeah, this also gives us health, Void Dress, Fizz Dress, pretty nice. And then Paladin, these are always the same, right? Fire damage, physical damage, lightning damage, just are too good, especially for the Fire Pen. Attunement and Elemental Resistance, nice. Block Effectiveness, classic. And then we go with Healing Effectiveness a little bit into Valor, not crazy, it's just a little bit. It's health and effectiveness, again, this helps us to stay tanky. Because the aura also heals us, heals us, right? Um, also, you might not even have noticed this, but you gain, as you can see down here, 1% increased healing effectiveness per point of attunement. That's the passive for the Paladin. So we want to have our attunement up as well. Spell damage with a shield. That's nice, because we do spell damage with our judgment. Healing effectiveness, necrotic grass, classic. Then up here, armor with a shield, spell damage with a shield again. Block chance, health gain on block, again, the shield wall, classic, because we are running a shield, armor, crit, that's all fine, and just, this is just a little bit to get one point to get just a base of this, a little bit of more endurance, fresh, a little bit of health, uh, a little bit of armor and crit avoidance, just sort of as a base point in it, and of course, this is always health, damage, healing effects with mana, this is just too good, you can just never not take this, <laughs> and then you would put more into the um, Light of Riot. Very, very simple rig. So again, this is the the walking simulator build, and it works super well. You really just have to activate it once and it's just keep running around. Um, great build, a lot of fun. This is pretty much if you played Path of Exile, this is the Righteous Fire build. Same thing uh, as in, similar to the build in there, and um, also a very easy one to start with league wise because you don't need much or many items. So yeah, tell me what you. If you like this, what you think of it, tell me in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video.